All right, check it out. Angry people, sad people, whatever the case, I just hit up Arby's and I got a master class in customer service 000. Never mind customer service 101. This guy or kid, I don't know, 19, 22 years old, scraggly hair. <laughs> he should not be in the food. He should not he should not be working with the public. I digress. Arby's right here in the bag, fried mac and cheese bites. They brought it back. Um, and also in the bag, I have three sauces. And that was the culmination of this guy's uh, attitude, these three sauces. I'll tell you a little bit about it. We're going to check these out. I tried them a year ago when they first launched. I'm pretty sure I enjoyed them, but now I got them again now that they have uh, come back. Wanted to tell you that they are back in case you did like them a year ago. And I'm actually going to dip them in a couple of the sauces or maybe just in the Bronco Berry. Let's check them out. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. All right, so I went with the six-piece. I remember last year I got the four-piece, and they were like $4.79, something like that. They're still the same price, they're, so they're like a dollar a um, bite a dollar a uh, mac and cheese bite. So I went with the six piece because those were five sixty nine. dollars So I got six for a couple cents less. That's an empty bag. Wow. I got to get a separate camera for these that hit the ceiling, landed standing straight up on the uh, passenger seat. So here we go. Fried mac and cheese bites. What's the description? A premium blend of four cheeses and noodles. It is, it is mac and cheese, breaded and fried to crispy golden brown perfection. There it is. These seem lighter than last time. And I did have to wait for these. Let me just take a bite. We'll get into some of the antics. This kid. <laughs> and I'll tell you what I said at the end because I'm not going to get into an argument with a kid that hates his job. But don't take it out on me. I'm the easiest customer you're going to get all day easiest customer you're going to get all day. All right, so here we go. Let's check these out again. Four cheeses, noodles, breaded, crispy and golden brown perfection. I'll be the judge of that. Oh, the outside of that's really good. Check it out. Hmm. After the first bite, I don't believe as cheesy as they were a year ago. Crunchy, not overcooked, not greasy. Decent amount of uh, pasta noodles in there. Check it out one more time. Yeah, it's a nice little side. It's a nice little side. They show a little cheese pull on the advertisements. I want a little bit more cheese. Let's see if this one has it. A little bit more. Let me get out the Bronco Berry napkin. Um, so the kid, I won't even get into some of the other small stuff, but then when he finally comes to the window, it was, like I said, it took a while. He didn't say, oh, sorry for the wait, or it's going to be a couple minutes. They're dropping them uh, fresh. They're dropping them hot. None of that. He just, it, I just waited. And then he was about to hand me the bag. I said, because the three main sauces are Bronco Berry, Arby's, and Horsey. Not the dipping sauces, just like their main sauces. So when he was about to hand me the bag, I just said really nicely. I said, oh, hey, can I get one of each of the sauces? And he goes, of all 13? I thought he was kind of joking with me because I don't even know if they have 13 sauces or maybe it was 12 or no, it was a teen, 13 or 14. And he gave me like the thumbs up. So as I was about to kind of like joke with him back, I immediately knew it wasn't a joke because he just turned and went to get the sauces and he gave me the three sauces. So he knew exactly what I wanted. 
He knew exactly when, when you say one of each of your sauces, these are the three sauces. Because if he didn't know, he would have given me something else or had a follow-up question. He knew exactly what I wanted. And he's like, oh, all 13. And he said it like that. Oh, all 13? And he turns and totally ignored me. So as he handed me the uh, bag uh, with the um, sauces in it, I said, I hope you have a better day and drove off. All right, Bronco Berry. There were a couple other little things at the beginning I won't get into, but that culminated the whole visit. All right, let's see if Bronco Berry works. There you go. Fried mac and cheese bites. <laughs> That's a guilty pleasure right there. Wow. <laughs> if you've never had Bronco Berry, I have not had it in like forever. I don't think I ever had it. And then people were commenting I should have dipped. I forgot what they said I should have dipped. Should have dipped something in the Bronco Berry. And I went back and did it. And I loved it. Just gives a nice little sweetness. And I think I'm sensing like a little bit of a spice. Maybe not. I don't know. Let me go all in. That's the jam right there. Mmm. 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 All right, so listen, let's give them a rating. I really did enjoy them. I think I might have enjoyed them a little bit more last year. I think they're a little bit more cheesier. That last one I did in the Bronco Berry had a little bit more um, texture to it with the um, pasta from the mac and cheese. 1 to 100. We're going to go 89 today. I'm pretty sure they probably hit the 90 barrier uh, a year ago. But I like them. I got six of them. We have three left because I ate three. But there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word on my channel out to the masses. In closing, will I ever be going back to that specific Arby's? When pigs fly. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. It really didn't bother me. I hope he thinks it bothers me because maybe that'll make his day a little bit better. But all right, rude people. I get it. If you're having a bad day, I've had bad days. <laughs> it is what it is. But don't take it out on me. I'm just ordering some mac and cheese bites to sit under a tree and talk to a camera. Just let me do me, sir. Let me do me. All right.